Hi, Kesty Young here. The blueberry patch has become overgrown. So over a period of days, we have tidied it up and given it a new lease of life. I'm working full time at the minute. Well, I've been working full time for quite a while, but I was doing shift work, which gave me mornings at home to do things. But now I'm doing Monday to Friday and that leaves me more time poor especially when the days are shorter add that to the fact that we don't have wallabies in here now and this is how my poor old blueberries have ended up I normally top dress them with pine needles every year this one got done so it's not too bad when it comes to growth of weeds the berries themselves are doing all right though and my little tea bush doesn't look too bad the undergrowth in this one is buzzies, a Tasmanian native. Very annoying when the seed heads are mature because they just stick to your socks, shoelaces, whatever. These are approaching maturity. They will stick to your socks, etc. But at least they won't fall apart when you try to pull them off, which is what they do when they're fully mature. So this one's going to be a lot of fun when it comes to clear it out because of all the blackberry in there. So we've done the top row already. These are Brigitte, an Australian hybrid. This one's not looking too happy. I've trimmed the dead stuff off it. This is creeping strawberry pine. It's a native of Tasmania. I accidentally pulled it out last night when we were weeding, but the roots all came out in a clump, so that was all right. I put some bits of wood around it, but unfortunately, the chickens have moved them, and I've just found it upside down down the, the hill a little bit. So I've put it back in place, I'll cover it up, I'll give it a drink, and I'll put some heavier bits of wood to keep the chickens away. Um, I'm surprised it's doing as well as it is anyway because the weeds in this one were quite high what we took out yesterday. A lot of the grass and weeds that we pulled out from around the blackberries has all ended up as mulch underneath the mulberry tree and there's a lot of it. It's amazing how much there was. So the chickens won't be very impressed because it looked like they had been under there having dust baths because the mulch that had been there had all rotted away so it needed to be mulched and they'll stop the regrowth of any weeds because there is a lot of seed in, in the grasses. So this is my row of Brigittas and this is my row of Blue Rose. which we will start tackling later on when it cools down. We won't put the wire fencing back on. It's not needed anymore because we don't have the wallabies. But we will need to net because the chickens will come along and just help themselves to the fruit simply because they can reach and I'm not interested in giving them the fruit. So we will put bird netting on when the time comes, which we, is at least a month away. So here we go, five metres of horse bark being delivered. Oh, the dogs are very excited. So there's a bit of work for us to do. So here we are, next day, job's done. Some of them have strawberries around them as well, which have survived. We didn't get the rain that was forecast for this morning. I planted the blueberries between the absorption trenches of the septic system. That way they benefit from that underground water which is refined the further down the hill it goes. The blueberries mainly get watered from these two tanks here which collect runoff directly from one of the roofs which is very handy for summer hand watering. I made the lower row slightly shorter than the top.
top row because as the mulberry tree grows it will throw shade there during the day so the shade from the mulberry tree won't interfere with the blueberry patch so much as I said I have two varieties here blue rose and Brigitte I have recently purchased three plants that are Northland which I had been keeping an eye out for some time because they have a longer fruiting season than the two varieties that I have so I was delighted to find them I only bought three plants because they're about $16 each and I like to get my plants as cheaply as I can these plants I have here I think I probably paid about $5 for but they were all very small when I bought them I'm a patient gardener this is the coarsest bark I could find it will last two years possibly three as I mentioned earlier I normally put pine needles on here but we just weren't out and about as much this year thanks to COVID so this is as good as pine needles but of course you pay for this the pine needles I collect for free 